Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to disconnect or unpair or unsync your Fire TV Cube remote from the Fire TV Cube. So if you want to bring this to another device and make it a lot easier to connect to, well, you probably want to go ahead and unpair this. So to do this, press the back button, the menu button, and the left button. So if we press all three of these buttons down at the same time, we'll notice that the remote will be reset and we can connect it to a new device now. So you probably have to hold this down for about 15 seconds and you'll notice on your screen, it's going to return to the home screen and that's an indication that it is now reset. So you saw return to the home screen. It says home. Now if I try moving my remote, it is still connected, but it's not paired. So if I press the Alexa button, it says we have to pair this to use this feature. So it is now completely disconnected and I can bring this to a new device now. So when you go to a new device, hold down the home button and it will put it into the Bluetooth pairing mode where an orange light will blink on the top right. And it might take about 60 seconds to two minutes for your device to recognize the new remote and then connect to it. So right now I cannot use my remote. So it might take a while. Just go ahead and wait. Then what you want to do is go on over to settings right here once it does connect and then pair your remote. All right, looks like it's reconnected again. So I can go on over to settings right here and select this and then go on down to controllers and Bluetooth devices. Then go to Amazon Fire TV remotes and go to add new remote right here, select this. Mine is already showing up on here, but you might have to hold down the home button once again and bring up the blinking orange light indicating that it's trying to pair to a new device and it should show up under this list. So it's blinking right now and it should be showing up for you under this list. It might take about 20 to 30 seconds for it to appear, but my remote is now paired. If I press the LX button, you can see Alexa is now working, is now bringing up that screen where I have to pair now. So I should be good to go. Now, if you still are having problems connecting, try removing the batteries from the remote and then turn off the Fire TV Cube for at least 60 seconds and just do a complete restart and see if that fixes your issue and hold down the home button, put it into the pairing mode, and you should be good to go. But hopefully this video did indeed help you out. Did leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more technical videos coming up next on Your Six Tech.